Last time we looked at one of the smallest dragons, the Bioluma. This time it's time to take a look at some of the biggest, the Ice Behemoth Drake and our first look at the Fire Behemoth Drake. Just by sheer size alone, these dragons are impressive. So much so that there are plans to give smaller perching dragons, such as the Bioluma and Zygovo, the ability to ride on them. They're expected to take over 4 or 5 hours to reach adulthood, possibly even more. And don't expect this to be a dragon you can solo raise either. Its appetite will require the help from others to keep it full and fed, so make sure you have some friends around. It likely won't take much convincing to help either, as both drakes are special unlocks. The Ice Drake was a Kickstarter stretch goal, so players will need to complete some sort of quest to unlock the ability to spawn as this dragon from the menu. Kickstarters will automatically have it unlocked. The Fire Drake will be a DLC, around 4 or 7 dollars just like the other two DLC dragons. However, as with almost every playable, you can play as these dragons by getting nested without meeting any other requirements. But herein lies the catch. Both behemoths will be highly sexual dimorphic, meaning the males and females will look different. We only have one very early concept art image of the Fire Drake, but you can see what I mean with the Ice Drake and the horns. There may also be differences in size as well, and it's not just looks. With Ice Drakes, females are very rare, and with Fire Drakes, it's the males that are very rare. This will slow nesting down considerably, on top of the slow growth and breeding time already. And don't think about kill spawning till you get the sex you want either. Each time you die, your chances of spawning as the rarer sex will decrease considerably for that day. While Fire Behemoths would seem to have it a little easier, after all, one male can breed with two or three females at a time, the females can only lay one egg a day. All of this is to help ensure that the Behemoths are as rare as they are powerful. They are said to be able to take down the small smaller sand and snow slayer worms solo and would decimate the food supply of any given area if allowed to breed and spread uncontrollably. The two species are said to be of equal power to each other, particularly if encountered in a temperate environment. However, through buffs and debuffs in the cold and hot areas of the map, each drake is considerably stronger in their home environment than in the other's territory, so don't expect to see them roaming around too much outside of these places. In the frozen north, you can expect most adults to be dining on cave cutters, while the bird forests and desert areas will likely supply a yet unnamed rhino AI. On to the overall looks. The Ice Behemoth Drake is a quadruped and has a very saber-toothed cat feel with crocodile elements. While this early Fire Behemoth's concept art shows it as a bipedal leaning towards theropod dinosaurs for its look, though I would not be surprised if the team used pangolins as a basis for its movement. So, what do you think of the behemoths? Are you team ice or team fire? Let me know in the comments as well as suggestions what we could name these drakes. And if you haven't already, make sure to check out the links in my description. As many other YouTubers have expressed their opinions and thoughts on the new Fire Drake, I even got to appear on Firefly's stream. See you soon!